Hello everyone. Hi, I'm Swati Singla and welcome to my channel. Um, guys, this is the fifth day of uh, this scramble word series and today we are going to do fourth word of this series and I really hope and I really wish you all ha are having lots of lots of lots of fun and you all are getting a lots of benefit out of this series. Right. So please do comment that if you are learning with this uh, series or if you are gaining something with this series and if you are or if you are having something valuable from the series. So do comment. Right. So uh, let's start with the word which I have given to you yesterday. The word which I have given to you yesterday is this. And the correct word for this is this. Right. So uh, I really hope that uh, at least some of you must have got it correctly and let's uh, get into the details. So the word is temper, temper, T-E-M-P-E-R. Guys, I want to mention something here is whenever R comes at the end of any word, the R is supposed to be silent. Like you want, uh, we are not supposed to pronounce this word as temper, temper. You should not be, you should not pronounce this word as temper. Instead, you should pronounce it like temper, temper. R is supposed to be silent, right? Whenever R comes to, uh, comes uh, in the, at the end of any word, R should be silent in pronunciation, right? So our word is, our correct word is temper. T-E-M-P-E-R, which means, uh, which denotes actually your behavior, your feeling at a particular time, at a specified, a specified time. Ki, uh, I, and if you go with the Hindi meaning of this word, that means apa. When, you know, people, uh, you must have seen people said, saying, ki, aray, wo to jaldi apna apa kho deta hai. Uska apa jaldi khatam ho jata hai. Wo uske patience nahi hai. Like these. So, in that kind of sense, we use the word temper. Lacking patience, lose patience, lose your control. All these terms denotes the word temper. Right? So, the meaning is get angry very easily. Ki aapko bohat jaldi gussa jata hai. Aap jaldi se short temper ho jate ho. Aap apna behavior ek dem se kho dete ho. Aap apna shant swabhav ek dem se kho dete ho. Aap apni patience kho dete ho. In all these scenarios, in all these situations, we use the word temper. Right. Next is the way you are feeling in a uh, very particular time. Ek koi bhi particular, ek specified time pe, how do, how are you feeling? How do you spit, spit out that feeling? Aap apni feeling ko bahar kaise nikal rahe ho? Patiently nikal rahe ho? Impatiently kisi pe nikal rahe ho? That shows your temper. Right. So, temper means apna aapa kho dena, apna, uh, apna cool kho dena, apna under mental uh, patience, mental jo peace hoti hai, wo kho dena ek dam se. Again, this word, we use this word in a negative sense. Again, we use this word in some disappointment. And if you want to show someone's weakness, then we also use this word in that situation. Right. So the some of the examples could be like you must learn to control your temper. आपको पता रहना चाहिए, आपको सीखना चाहिए कि अगर आपका कंट्रोल जल्दी से आपके ऊपर से खत्म हो जाता है, आप अपना कंट्रोल एकदम से खो देते हैं, तो आपको वो कैसे वापस से शांत करना है अपने आपको, आपको वो आना चाहिए. And if you don't know, you must learn. You must learn how to cool yourself down, how to calm yourself down. Right. So you should know how to uh, have some patience, how to get yourself cool. Right. Second is he has a short temper. Whenever you know, whenever you go to you go for an interview or you have heard ki uh, interviews mein aise questions hote hain. So most of the time, most of the time uh, interviewer ask that tell me about your strengths and weaknesses. So most of the time interview interviewees जो होते हैं जो interview दे रहे हैं वो लोग most of the time they state their weakness as कि I lose my control very easily I am a short tempered guy I am a short tempered girl I lose my temper very easily like this so they state they 
टेल देम देयर वीकनेस लाइक दिस कि मैं बहुत जल्दी अपना टेम्पर खो देता हूँ आई एम अ शॉर्ट टेम्पर्ड आई एम आई लूज माई टेम्पर वेरी इजिली लाइक दिस तो ही हैज़ अ शॉर्ट टेम्पर दैट मीन्स कि वो उसको बहुत जल्दी गुस्सा आ जाता है अगर वो पेशेंट है अगर वो पोलाइट है अगर वो शांत है तो वो जल्दी बहुत ही छोटी सी बात हुई और एकदम से वो गुस्सा हो जाता है तो इन दैट सेंस इन दैट केस दे ऑल्सो टेल देम कि दे आर ट्राइंग टू कोप अप विद दिस वीकनेस बट दे एज ऑफ नाउ करेंटली दे आर शॉर्ट टेम्पर राइट सेकेंड ही डैश द कप डाउन इन अ टेम्पर Okay, tell me how many of you, um, you know, sp- smash things or even hit yourself whenever you, you know, lose your temper, whenever you get out of control. Actually, he dashed the cup down in a temper. उसने एकदम से उसको गुस्सा आया और उसने कप को पटक के रखा टेबल पे और वेर एवर ही वॉज स्टैंडिंग और सेटिंग तो वहाँ पर उसने एकदम से कप को पटक के रखा दैट मीन्स ही डैश द टप कप डाउन इन अ टेम्पर right next is the child remained under the table in temper until his father came home again uh, as you know kids they also they are they don't get furious they don't get short tempered matlab wo ekdam se itna zyada gussa nahi dikhate but their behavior keeps on changing whenever you their demand doesn't uh, get fulfilled their behavior constantly or immediately changes तो एकदम से किसी बच्चे ने कोई डिमांड की और उसकी वो पूरी नहीं हुई तो उसको गुस्सा आ जाता है बट सम ऑफ द किड्स डू लाइक दिस बट नॉट एवरी किड डज लाइक दिस तो उनमें जो कुछ बच्चे होते हैं वो क्या करते हैं कि ना गुस्सा तो दिखाते हैं बट दे आर नॉट फ्यूरियस लाइक दिस कि ये पटक के फेंका वो मारा और ये अपना गुस्सा चिल्ला के दिखा रहे हैं कैसे दे जस्ट सेट इन एनी कॉर्नर और समवेयर इन द हाउस एंड दे जस्ट keep themselves silent and they show their anger so this is also a form of temper right so the child remained under the table in temper that means silently uh, under the table until his father came home so this was the word and i really hope that uh, some of you definitely got it correctly and this is for those who got it correct and this is for those who put their best efforts in it and who gave their best shot to this word right so i hope <clears throat> this is a great learning to you i'll come again tomorrow at the same time with a new word and till then yes keep learning keep having fun and keep practicing so thank you and bye